Mississippi allows officials to count ballots that arrive within five days after Election Day, as long as they're properly postmarked. The Republican National Committee and others are alleging this violates federal statute, and it resembles laws in roughly 20 other states and jurisdictions. So this case could have major implications on mail-in voting. The other states that allow for late arriving ballots include Nevada, Ohio and Virginia, as well as Maryland, the site of a competitive Senate race. California and New York also allow for post-election ballot receipt and could make a major difference in who controls the House. Former President Donald Trump has long railed against mail-in voting. In 2020, his attacks against the practice made it less popular among GOP voters. But at a recent rally, Trump gave a confusing message to his supporters. We have to win Pennsylvania. Go out and make a plan to vote early, vote absentee. Now we have this stupid stuff where you can vote 45 days early. Now, Mississippi is not the only state where this approach is being litigated, but by bringing a case against Mississippi, Republicans have navigated this to a friendly forum, more likely to give them a ruling that could help boost cases like this elsewhere. Now, the Department of Justice, Democrats, and others argue that this approach is not violating federal statute. Reporting in Washington, I'm Julia Benbrook.